guys, sunders. Mayroon na tayong kunting reaction sa ating uh, first una ng ating uh, bagong presidente mga guys, sunders. Panoorin nito pagkatapos ng aking intro. Okay. Alexander Gismundo and the Honorable Justices of the Supreme Court, the Apostolic Nuncio, Most Reverend Charles John Brown, and the esteemed members of the Diplomatic Corps, the Honorable Members nice, of the nice. Cabinet, our First Lady, Luis Araneta Marcos, and our children. Nice, my guys Distinguished guests, ang mga minamahal kong mga kababayan, ladies and gentlemen, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Magandang hapon din po sa iyo. Mahal kaming Pangulo. Good afternoon. I come before you today to address you as it is my duty as President of the Republic. Nice. We live in difficult yeah. times, brought about by some forces of our own making, but certainly also by forces that are beyond our control. But we have, and we will continue to find solutions. And these are some nice, of them. Nice. In terms of the economy, we will implement a sound fiscal management. Tax administration reforms will be in place to increase revenue collection. So, anong makapansin niyo ron, mga guys and girls? Wala siyang binabasa sa harap niyo. Tuloy natin. Expenditure priorities will be realigned and spending efficiency will be improved to immediately address the economic scarring arising from the effects of COVID-19 and also to prepare for future shocks. Productivity-enhancing investments will be promoted. Our country must become an investment destination, capitalizing on the corporate recovery and tax incentives for enterprises with the CREATE law. Oh, kita niyo mga guys and girls? Galing mag-English na ating presidente mga guys and girls. Tuloy natin. And economic liberalization laws such as the Public Service Act and the Foreign Investments Act. Ecozones will be fully supported to bring in strategic industries such as those engaged in high-tech manufacturing, health, and medical care, and all emerging technologies. This is also seen to facilitate economic growth outside of Metro Manila. Our tax system will be adjusted in order to catch up with the rapid developments of the digital economy including the imposition of value-added tax on digital service providers. Yan ang presidente, tuloy-tuloy magsalita, hindi yung pa nga 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 nga. Tuloy natin. The initial revenue impact will be around 11.7 billion pesos in 2023 alone. Tax compliance procedures will be simplified to promote ease of paying taxes. We will pursue measures to determine possible undervaluation and or trade misinvoicing of imported goods. Through information and communications technology, the Bureau of Customs will promote streamlined processes. Disbursements for 2022 to 2023 will be maintained at above 20% of gross domestic product or 4.955 trillion pesos and 5.086 trillion pesos, respectively. Oh, kita niyo yun, mga guys and girls? Tuloy-tuloy siya magsalita. Yan ang magandang Pangulo. Hindi tayo nagkakabalik sa pagbuto sa kanya. Mabuhay ka, Mr. President. Tuloy natin. To ensure continuous implementation of priority programs. Disbursement will further increase over the medium term from 
5.402 trillion pesos or 20.7% of our GDP in 2024 to 7.712 trillion pesos or 20.6% of GDP in 2028. The medium-term fiscal strategy of this administration seeks to attain short-term macro fiscal stability while remaining supportive of the country's economic recovery and to promote medium-term fiscal sustainability. Furthermore, and more importantly, fiscal... So, hanggang dyan lang ang ating reaction, mga guys and girls. Diba? Ang galing niya magsalita, mga guys and girls. Yan ang ating mapangulo, mga guys and girls. Nice! Mabuhay ka, Mr. President. Hanggang dito na lang, mga guys and girls. Thank you for watching.